Hi, I'm Rie. I'm a tasty producer. Today, I've been challenged to take a common food and make it fancy. Rules are, you must use the food given. You can only add to the food. You can buy whatever ingredients you wish. Let's see what it is today. Instant mashed potatoes. As you can probably guess, I've never had an instant mashed potato before. According to the instruction, the only thing you need is hot water. And I don't understand. Okay, so it looks like powder. Smell like butter. To make it fancy, I have to try one that it's cooked. It looks like mashed potato. Smell like mashed potato. It's mashed potato. Flavor is not bad, but there is only one texture, there is no crunch. So it's every bite is the same. So we start with this powdered potato. Now it's turned into mashed potato. And I'm going to transform this mashed potato into something very fancy. It's a instant mashed potato evolution. Okay, I've got a great idea and I'm very excited to make it fancy. Okay, here's what I got. Kabocha squash, sage, prosciutto, garlic, onion, pumpkin seeds, and chicken stock. And from the pantry, olive oil, milk, butter, egg, and flour. Let's get started. Make it fancy. So first, I'm going to cut kabocha squash. Kabocha squash is my favorite kind. It's supposed to be like fall vegetable. I hope you can find it at your local grocery store. If you can't, go to Asian grocery market, take out those seeds. This is my lady. Thank you so much for commenting on Lunchable episode. We read Who is Your Lady? And some of them said it's a laptop. Some of them said ice skate. Everyone has their own lady. And take care of your lady. Cut green part because I want to get nice yellow color. And I'm going to just cut into like cubes. For probably my favorite season. A lot of seasonal vegetable and fruit I like. Kabocha squash, it almost tastes like butternut squash. And butternut squash is great, but sometimes it's a little bit watery for me. This one is a little bit drier. Okay, so I got 400 grams of kabocha squash, and now I'm going to cut onion. So I will just need a half onion. This one doesn't need to be precise, it's just like dice. The reason you have to take your lady to the spa to make sharp knife. And sharp as a knife lets you cry, so I now no tears. Set this aside. I just need two cloves of garlic. I heard Queen Elizabeth doesn't like garlic, so it's not allowed in the palace. She's not here today. <laughs> so you just have to mince the garlic, and I'm going to start cooking. Roll the sage up and slice them. My pot is nice and hot. Add a little bit of olive oil and onion. Now you just want to saute until it's a little bit soft and translucent. You don't want to get any color. Onion is nicely cooked and soft, so I'm going to add garlic and sage. You should cook onion three to four minutes and garlic about one to two minutes. And then add kabocha squash, just lightly coat with oil, saute lightly. And you add one cup chicken stock, bring it to a boil and lower the heat to medium low heat. And then cook this for 20 minutes or until kabocha is completely soft. While we are waiting, I'm going to cut more squash. So this time we are cutting into tiny pieces. Transfer to baking sheet. Also, put some prosciutto. Prosciutto is very fancy ingredients. This is a quick way of make your dish fancy. Next, I have pumpkin seeds. Roast this pumpkin seed 10 to 15 minutes. Cubed squash and prosciutto for six minutes in 350 Fahrenheit. Okay, so this looks like it's cooked through. So I'm going to transfer this cooked kabocha squash into a blender. It's good, but I think I want to add a little bit of milk. So the texture looks good. I'm transferring to a bowl so I can cool it down faster and adding salt, 
This is done. I'm going to set this aside and move on to my next step. So mashed potato time. I boiled two cups of water, adding instant mashed potato. Take off from the heat. Wow, it's instant, <laughs> as they advertised. It's like powder to potato. <laughs> Do you think somebody who was thinking like, oh, mashed potato takes so long, how can I make it instant? Adding some mashed potato in the bowl. I'm going to cool this. Okay, so I have two eggs. This looks good. Here I got my flour, and I'm starting with one and a half cup of flour, but it depends on the texture. You might need more, you might need less. We are making dough here, and it shouldn't be too sticky. Okay, I think it looks good. So I'm going to sprinkle some flour. I'm really happy to make dough from instant mashed potato. It works super well. So I use bench scraper to cut the dough, but if you don't have it, you can just use a knife. This is nice because it's not sharp, so it doesn't damage the surface. I'm shaping this dough into a long rope shape. Cut this, just look like a little pillow. Use this gnocchi roller so I can make the shape. Push and roll. It kind of reminds me, is it legally blonde? Bent and snap, so it's a new way of attract your love interest. Push and roll. <laughs> and I'm transferring into flowered baking sheet so it doesn't stick together. If you don't have this dough, you can just use fork and make the ridges. If you have a leftover mashed potato from Thanksgiving dinner, you can definitely make this dish for next day. So these are looking good, so I'm going to boil some water. So I have five tablespoons of butter. I'm going to make brown butter and when it start bubbling and when you start seeing like brown bits, it's ready. It kind of gives a nutty flavor. It complements the pasta dish. Butter is bubbling up. I'm going to put sage leaf. You just want it to crisp up. So I think it's ready. So I'm going to remove from the heat. So water is boiling. So when this is cooked, it's gonna float on the surface and it's gonna happen very quickly. I don't wanna put too much because it will lower the water temperature. So those came up, put this in a brown butter, lightly coated, put it in the bowl and set aside. I'm gonna do one more. Okay, so batch two looking good. Coat it in the butter. So those are looking good. We can freeze this and save it for later. All the components are ready. Now I'm moving on to next step. So I roasted the pumpkin seed and cooled it down. I'm going to process in a food processor. You don't want to make it too fine, just like kind of rough chop. And now I'm ready to plate. I have kaboja squash puree and I want to transfer to squeeze bottle. I want to plate this very fancy, so we have turntable today. Put the squeeze bottle in the middle and rotate the plate to make this spiral shape. Looks cool. <laughs> Put gnocchi and off center. Crispy prosciutto and breaks up. Sprinkle diced kaboja squash. Grinded pumpkin seed, and I have fried sage. Also, I want to kind of make it standing up. And we are done. Tastes like fall. This is delicious and fancy. Okay, Ryan. Hi, Rie. Hi. So welcome to evolution of instant mashed potatoes. The evolution of instant mashed potatoes? I thought it was scallops. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> it must be gnocchi. Yes! All right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sweet. What else do you see? And mustard and uh, <laughs> fried basil and fried um, like t tomato skins. You did it all wrong. <laughs> So put this in there now. Mm. Was it tomato skin or basil? A pancetta. Prosciutto. Prosciutto. Yeah. What's that? Sage. Yes. Sage. Eat the yellow one. Pick the yellow one a little bit. Was it mustard? 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> no. Uh, there's carrots on here as well. Uh, vegetable. Yeah, squash, egg, uh, squash. What's kind of squash? Fall squash. <laughs> Fall squash. <laughs> <laughs> but can you name one? There's no. a bunch oh, of Oh, there's different. a subset of squashes yeah, under so like, fall squash? Yeah, squash. Fall squash and It's not really squash. my specialty. <laughs> kabocha. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Kabocha. 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 Yes. Kabocha. Good job. Italian. Mm, kabocha is, I think, Japanese. Mm, some sort of nuts. Yes. Pine nuts. It's not nuts. It's seeds. Pine seeds. <laughs> Pumpkin seeds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> fall. That was such a fall dish. Yes. Make, Make it, it fancy. fancy. Okay. First impressions on the plating is this is the fanciest mm. thing I've ever seen. I say it every time. <laughs> Mmm! There's so many flavors going on here. So I made this from instant mashed potato. <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel like I know my instant potatoes and this doesn't taste like it at all. So Hana, mm -hmm. we have one last thing to do. Oh, I think I know what it is. Make, make it, it fancy. fancy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you make it home. If you make it, please tag me on the Instagram. And don't forget to dance. Make it fancy. <laughs>